What a fantastic day for a hike. Mind you, the conditions up there right now are pretty bleak, I have to say. So my name is Simon Booth, and professionally I work as an ecologist, but in my spare time, there's nothing more I love than to get out and about shooting landscape photographs. And today I've been up there um, trying to find a new location for a potential new view. Um, but how important is kit on days like today? It's blowing a gale, um, there's quite a lot of snow showers blowing in, and you really need to feel protected at all times. Now this jacket that I'm wearing is the Country Innovation Innovation Jacket. Now sadly, they don't make it anymore, but what a jacket it has been. It's absolutely fantastic. I've worn it in all conditions, and over the 10 years that I've had it, it's not once let me down. I have to say, I don't treat it too well. Country Innovation tell me that I should proof the jacket regularly and I should wash it quite regularly as well. I've probably washed it only about five times in the 10 years that I've had it. Quite embarrassing really, but there you go. Now Country Innovation has said that the new replacement for this jacket is the linnet. Now they very kindly sent me um, one of those linnet jackets to try out and about while I'm taking landscape photographs to see how I get on with it. So stick around for the next few days and let's see how it performs. So I've been out and about in this woodland shooting landscapes for the last two days and yesterday was just awful, the weather was terrible, wind and rain like you wouldn't believe. Um, but all the time I was wearing the linnet jacket and I was completely protected. So I want to talk about the jacket and some of the features that it has, hopefully I can remember them all, there's so many to go through. Starting with the material, you've got that typical lovely olive green that Country Innovation have always stood by, perfect for blending into the countryside. Um, the coat is waterproof, breathable and, um, and windproof at the same time. Um, it's virtually rustle free, um, ideal for when you're wanting to keep quiet and not disturb wildlife, things like that. Um, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down and try a methodical approach to this jacket because like I said there's so many features it's going to be easy to forget any one of them. So starting with the hood. The hood like my other jacket is enormous and I love this feature, I love feeling protected um, around the head and face area. You've got a nice volume adjustment at the top um, and you could easily fit a helmet in here if you wanted to. You've got a double chin guard at the front to keep your face nice and warm and you've got the nice elasticated drawstrings at the side um, to, to further create a better snug fit. What you get with a lot of hoods these days is that um, when you turn your head inside them you end up looking at the side of your actual hood rather than turning your head around while you're moving and this jacket fits so well that you can actually move your head around whilst you're wearing it. Um, wired peak at the top so even in the worst of gale force winds this hood's not going to flap around so perfect hood. The fact that you can actually remove the hood as well is another bonus so it's a removable hood um, absolutely fantastic fleecy collar keep your head and neck nice and protected when you've got your hood up and makes for a nice all-in-one unit um, you've got a double storm flap all the way down the front of the jacket to keep the wind and rain out um, in terms of fit the jacket fits beautifully you lift your arms up it stays connected with your body um, You've also got a nice long back so that when you do lift your arms up your bum doesn't become unprotected. Um, you've got drawstrings in the centre and at the bottom so you can adjust the amount of heat that's moving around your body. Velcro tabs on the arms. My other jacket used to have studs and I have to say occasionally um, I felt a little bit of wind going up these but these new Velcro tabs are ideal. 
Now let's talk about pockets. This jacket is absolutely laden with pockets. I'm going to start at the front. Just at the front here, you've got two chest pockets, and both these pockets have got weatherproof zips. They're ideal for keeping mobile phones, car keys, things like that. Um, both of them absolutely weather sealed, so you've no worries about equipment getting wet and being damaged. Behind the double storm flap, you've got a nice big map pocket for your audience survey map there. Um, moving further down, you've got the cargo pockets. Now the cargo pockets are amazing. You'd be, you'd be staggered at what you can fit in these. Yesterday, I was able to put my entire filter wallet in there during um, a heavy rain downpour, and it kept it completely dry, so perfect. Two of those with pockets that expand um, as, as they need to. At the sides of those pockets, you've got these lovely big hand warmer pockets. Now, my other jacket used to have these as well, and this is one of the features that I really loved about my jacket. Um, you're standing around for long periods of time, you can keep your hands nice and warm in these. But what Country Innovation have also done is they've now put the stormproof zips on either side of them. Um, internally, you've actually got another pocket. I almost forgot that. You've also got another pocket just inside here, and this is like a mesh um, mesh pocket that's held with a little Velcro tab, and that's ideal for putting things like base layers, socks, or waterproof trousers, anything like that. And last but not least, you've also got another single pocket right inside and where you could put your wallet. But all in all, absolutely filled with features. Um, this is a real cracking jacket, and I for one give it a big thumbs up. Um, perfect for any outdoor environment or any outdoor enthusiast. And if that doesn't convince you, Country Innovation have said that for every linnet jacket sold, they will kindly donate £10 to the Simon King Wildlife Foundation.